I will be reading from Campbell's 8th edition of the AP Biology textbook. The following passage can be found on page 22 and 23, chapter 1, Introductions, the theme in the study of life. Note, parts of this passage have been edited out to allow a more understandable and smoother read. The full transcript of the passage can be found in the description. Limitations of Science Scientific inquiry is a powerful way to learn about nature, but there are limitations to the kind of questions it can answer. These limits are set by science's requirements that hypotheses be testable and falsifiable, and that observations and experimental results be repeatable. Observations that can't be verified may be interesting or even entertaining, but they cannot count as evidence in scientific inquiry. The headlines of supermarket tabloids would have you believe that humans are occasionally born with the head of a dog and that some of your classmates are extraterrestrials. The unconfirmed eyewitness accounts and the computer-rigged photos are amusing, but unconvincing. In science, evidence from observation and experiments is only convincing if it stands up to the criteria of repeatability. Because science requires natural explanations for natural phenomenon, it can neither support nor falsify that angels, ghosts, or spirits, whether benevolent or evil, cause storms, rainbows, illness, and cures. Such supernatural explanations are simply outside the bounds of science.